Hello, so you want to join to Dual GPU Master Race, but not sure if you can? Let's break it down what you need to know first. So before we talk about GPUs, we need to know what you have under the hood, the motherboard. Simple program like CPUZ can tell you name of your motherboard. For example, my motherboard is B650 Tomahawk. Now we need to know at what speed is running our primary and secondary PCIe slot. And here we can see our primary PCIe E1 slot is running on Gen 4 X16, which is great, but our secondary PCIe 2 is only running on Gen 4 X2, which is same speed as PCIe Gen 3, X4, and it's borderline usable. As you see on graph below, no matter how powerful you GPU, is with PCIe Gen 3x4 limitation. You can only transfer 240 FPS in 1080p, 180 FPS in 1440p, and 60 FPS in 4K. Another issue is that second slot is connected to chipset, which make graphic information travel longer distance, like shown in third graph when it's not connected to CPU. And this will generate more latency. So it's advice to not use it unless you have no other option left. Luckily, we have other option we can use. M.2 connected to CPU running on PCIe Gen 4x4, which is same as PCIe Gen 3x8. And you ask, how? Well, that's simple, we will use Oculink. With M.2 Oculink extender, we will connect it to Minisforum DG1 where we install our GPU, adequate PSU, maybe some drivers, and we have set up, ready to game on. This is cheapest route where you can game on not so expensive motherboard, where you only need PCIe Gen 4 primary slot, and capable PCIe Gen 4X 4M.2 slot. But no, 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 you decided you want to be real old school gamer with two GPUs inside your PC with no compromises on bandwidth speed. First thing you need to know about dual GPU motherboards that there are two variants of them. Take a look for example for MSI X670 Carbon and MSI X870 Carbon. First motherboard have standard slot distance of 60 mm and second motherboard have wider 80 mm slot distance. So depending on thickness of your GPUs, you want to choose right motherboard to fit both of them into your case. All right, now to next thing to know. You need motherboard that support multi-GPU configuration with two PCI that cut bandwidth of first X16 PCI slot to half and share it with second PCI slot make a dual X8X8 configuration. Prices of motherboard for dual GPU setup ranging usually from 350 to 500 bucks slash euros. Now, when we have topic of motherboards behind, we can focus back to GPUs. Generally, in lossless scaling dual GPU setup, you use one card as rendering card and other card as frame gen 1. For rendering card, you can use any card you want AMD, NVIDIA, or Intel. Usually, it's more powerful one from both of them. For frame gen card is preferable to use AMD card because they are like made from frame generation, have least issues, and can generate a lot of them. Community in lossless scaling Discord already tested how each GPU perform in fixed settings with frame gen. You can go see spreadsheets there with full stats. So for conclusion games in current market, starting to be more and more demanding to the point that even most powerful cards like 5090 can feel underwhelming. But with power of dual GPU, you can break barrier of not having enough FPS, since you can theoretically generate them as much as you want with right setup. That's why I think running dual GPUs will be more appealing as time went by, as they don't cost fortune since frame generating is not so demanding, and you can use your old GPU for that task. Hope you learned something. See you next time.